Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the B100 kit from Geek Vape. Uh, this is a brand new one in the box. This is the one that I've been using for the past two weeks now. And uh, and it's, it's, most people know, I like a bit of posh in my vape life. Uh, but I will not lie. I always, since these guys came out, these little boost things, I've always had one of them up in the top shelf because they make excellent little out and about mods. So I've always kept one, but uh, this is the brand new B100. So here we go. This is everything that you're going to get inside the box. One device, one pod. Uh, you will get uh, 4.5 milliliters of juice inside this tank. If you're in TPD land, then it's going to be two milliliters. I'm sorry, I can't tell you if the pod, uh, you know, when we do the whole TPD thing, usually they put in a, a reducer in there and more often than, well, in the past, we've been able to fish it out through the bottom. So fingers crossed we can do the same again. One USB-C cable. Now this is an 18650 device. So you take one of your batteries, an 18650, and you put it in the bottom. I would never advise that you use one of these to charge your battery internally. You want a, an external battery charger. One tool to help you remove the coils. Spare coil, there's a coil inside the pod. And one manual with some other paperwork. Now I've just weighed uh, my own one or the one that I've been using and with a battery inside and juice it comes out about 188 grams. Dimensions on this one you're looking at 121 millimeters in height. Now this is going to come in the usual, yeah, it'll come in a variety of colours. I should have a photo to put on the screen just now. Uh, but the main thing you may be wondering is what's the difference between this and previous versions? Well, for a start, this is IP68 instead of IP67, which means that it's a bit more durable out there in the wilderness. Other things that are new uh, will be the coils. Uh, now, we're going to fish this coil out of this tank just now. For those of you that don't know, sorry, very rude of me. Your pod just comes out like so. Very, very straightforward. Uh, I will say that we do have a top fill on this pod, so you can just and pull that like that and you just fill your juice through there. Zero issues. Uh, I, I personally really like this top fill on the, the Geek Vape pods. Never had a problem with it. And I will also say, uh, and I'll grab my other one that I've been going with, uh, I have put a, a metric shit ton of juice through this and um, zero condensation and no leaks whatsoever, uh, which is kind of unusual. It's been doing really, really well this. But anyway, I wanted to show you the new coils. And I must admit, usually I can get these out no problem, but today I'm going to have to use the tool. And out she comes, right. Um, so these are P series, P for Papa, P series coils. And you're going to get a 0 0.15 ohm coil like this uh, fitted and you'll get a 0 0.4 ohm coil as a spare. Now the big selling point or what the blurbs, blurbs telling me is that you're going to get up to 60 mil through these coils. Uh, they're saying that the lifespan is vastly increased. Uh, I will cover that at the end. But this is a mesh construction inside there just now. And uh, as usual, when you're using these, you're going to drop some juice into the holes here, a little bit of juice in here. You're then going to grab your pod. You can see you have your flanges here. You know, you can take your flat edges on the, the coil and it will just pop back in like so. Fill it with juice, put it to one side and leave it for a good five, 10 minutes. You will also find on the back here that we have adjustable airflow. We have a full adjustable airflow here. We'll cover the draw at the end as well. Uh, I'm going to say here, if you haven't worked it out already, this is not a mouth to lung device. Oh no, it's not. The drip tip is, uh, yeah, I'm, I've, I've, <laughs> I can't get that to budge. I'm pretty sure that's fixed. But look at the size of that. It is massive. I mean, you are peering down into the abyss there. It's it's huge, that drip tip. And I don't know why, but I'm just trying to stick a 510 drip tip in there to see if it actually holds it in place. But no, no joy there. So that's the new coils. And uh, once again, PCTG tank. And it is smoked uh, like the, the old style ones. I can still see my juice level in there. And 4.5mm and capacity or 2mm if it's TPD land. And trust me, you will go through that 4.5mm capacity very, very quickly. 
I should also say that the way the airflow is working on this, the fact that's coming in from the sides here, is that uh, that's another reason that I'm possibly seeing almost no condensation or leaking with this thing. I've gone back to the one that I've been using, and uh, as usual with the Geek Vape, we have the you know the grip here, the faux leather or whatever it is. It's got a little bit of a spongy feeling going on there, and uh, on the other side we have what they call the A lock, so you can hard lock the device so nothing is going to happen at all pop it back up and it will work no problem there we go so little lock on the side there on the base we have access to the battery and uh, just stick your nail in there that pops up and it will unscrew as always with these ip rated devices you've got a big heavy o-ring on there it can be a little bit of a hassle sometimes to you know actually get this back in place you can see that it's indicated there which way the battery goes we've got a negative for the base positive for the top so positive goes in first and then just pop that down there you gotta give it a little push on and then turn and there's that's it that's you done and no problem i've not had any hassles we've got the the, the rubber base once again and uh, we have a USB-C on the front, we have our up and down buttons, our fire button, and that is pretty much it for the mod. Now I've switched my light off here so you can hopefully see the screen a little bit better, uh, but this is a curved screen, it is a 0.96 inches and it is curved. Now it is using the AS chip, uh, version 3, uh, which I have shown you before, and uh, yeah, it's... Um, God, I'm trying to remember what the last mod that was. The last Geek Vape video I did had this basically had the same board inside, but this is a hundred watt device. The usual five clicks to switch on and off, and the the usual if you hold the fire button and the up or the down button, and you can get in and you can change the brightness on this device, and it is very bright and very clear in the daylight, which is a massive thumbs up. We have our usual one, two, three clicks, and uh, you can see that that power's changed there. And then we can start going through max. We've got all the usual kind of settings going on here. Variable power curves. We have uh, our smart modes. We boost. Uh, we have temperature control, stainless steel, TI. It's all in here. If you're wondering what the, the boosting is, then that just basically means that it's going to dump all the power into your coil. It's going to give you the maximum output for that coil and give you as many clouds as you can. And I'm going to stress here that don't forget the higher the output you're putting through this coil, then the shorter the lifespan of, span of the coil. The smart setting is going to give you the recommended power range for your coil. Uh, I'll talk about this a little bit more at the end, but uh, yes, it's what it thinks you should be using for that resistance that's inside here. Variable power curves and temperature control and whatnot have been covered many times before, uh, but uh, we're going to go back up top and uh, we'll continue letting you know how I've got on with this. So how has life been with the B100 kit uh, from Geek Vape? Uh, once again, as I said at the start, um, I've, I've always had one of these little mods. I mean, this is one with uh, an internal battery, uh, but uh, I, I do like them. I've always liked them and uh, yeah. But what makes this one different? Well, kind of covered that in the up close part, but the the one is, the main things are IP68 rating, the new coil, I've got the, the new board, and uh, yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. Uh, there's some things I want to clarify or point out. The first one will be is that, and I know a lot of you know this, I know a lot of you know this, but when you get a brand new coil, please, given the price of coils, you want to prime it. You want to get some juice in there, get the, the coil in the pod, fill it full of juice, put it to the side and leave it. Let it soak in there. Turn your device into just wattage mode or power mode and turn the power down low. Now there's a recommended range for these coils. Ignore that, turn it down low and bed that coil in and adjust to taste. Uh, you'll get a lot of people telling you that you should vape it this way and vape it that way. You don't. It changes based on you and the juice that you're vaping with. So just build it up slowly and you'll be fine. But just remember, the more power you put through a coil, the shorter the lifespan of that coil. 
The reason I mention that is because you have things like boost and, and so on in this device that it's going to put it to what it thinks you should be vaping at. I understand why they put this into these devices, but um, for me, for example, I mean the 0 0.15, I mean the range starts off about something like 70 watts is where you're supposed to start at. I'm actually vaping it at 50 watts with the airflow turned down halfway and it is more than enough for me and I'm enjoying the flavour and everything from it. Um, if you're vaping it at the recommended range then yeah I think you'll struggle with lifespan on the coil and so on and so forth but the other thing you'll struggle with is uh, this is a 100 watt device but it takes an 18650 battery. Now I think it's a 7.5 volt device this if I remember correctly. If that's wrong I'll put it at the bottom here. Um, if you're vaping at something like 70 watts on this your battery is going to get into a certain level where it's not going to be able to provide that power so you may find the, the vape tailing off quite quickly. Um, I, I, I get it's an 1860, 18650 device but with a 0 0.15 ohm coil, um, and and I'm going against the grain here because there's one thing I always get in the comments when I review things like this is people say, well, it should have been a 21700. For the first time ever, I'm going to say, I'm going to agree with you. I really do think this should have been a 21700. Um, just with the resistance of the coil that they're giving you, the 0 0.15 especially, and the you know the wattage range on it, yeah, I, th I do think it should have been a 21700 this, but I'm sure there will be a 21700 down the line. Regarding the, the whole, uh, the, 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 P, the, the new coils, the P-series coils, and they last for, you know, 60 mil of juice, I have had this for two weeks now, uh, and I'm still on the, the 0 0.15 ohm coil, and I'm at 53 watts on this. I've just opened up the airflow to the max. And it's unrestricted. It's it's just, yeah, it's going to give you everything. I actually like to turn it down to just under half. So for me, it's still direct lung, but it gives me that little, tiny little hint of a restriction that, that I kind of need in my vape. And... I mean, that's, once again, 53 watts on a 0 0.15 ohm coil. I get warmth from that, and I'm getting the resistance in my vape. I'm getting the flavor as well. Uh, the, but the only thing I'm not a fan of is really is that size, that bloody drip tip hole there. It's huge. It's absolutely massive. You're going to get... Um, more of a you can get more of a restriction and, and tone the vape down a bit more with the 0 0.4 ohm coil for sure uh, but as far as it goes for this is going to last so long you'll get 60 mil of juice through it once again I've been vaping this daily and um, I'm getting I'd say I'm getting about 8 mil of juice 50 odd watts from an 18650 battery I'm getting two refill I'm getting one refill so 8 mil or 9 mil two 4.5s. Sorry, my math sucks. Uh, and so that's the kind of life expectancy I'm getting out of the battery versus how I'm vaping. Uh, we have the A-lock as well. We have, uh, you know, the curved screen. We have the boost and we have the smart. We have the VPC, variable power curve, temperature control sense. It's all in there, everything you need. It's, it really comes down to the airflow and the coils. And I just, once again, for the resistance in the coils here and the wattage range, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's it's really, to be honest, it's the one, no con or one major point that I want to make out is that if you're hammering this, remember it's an 18650 battery. Um, so you're only going to get so long at that maximum wattage or 70, 80 watts. You're not going to get 70, 80 watts for the entire lifespan of that battery. Just be aware of that. But um, I like it, I enjoy the vape from it, it's not let me down in the past two weeks and um, yeah, this will make it up to the top shelf as well and I'll keep this for uh, an out and about and when I'm bashing about at the car. But uh, yeah, that's it. I I'm sure there's going to be lots of other reviews, if not 
there are lots of reviews out there already. Please go and watch them and see what other people are saying. Uh, but thank you to Geekvate for sending this on. And to you guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.